Lulu hanging around at Bordeaux, that creeps me out a lot, but it might not be as bad as what would happen if she found Luke. What you, how's that? Well, confronted with something physical, I think Lulu can hold her own and give herself a chance to get away, but for her, there's no coming back from the emotional devastation that Luke can wreak. I mean, look at Lucky. Look what he did to him. Luke is, Luke is trying to get everyone in his family to write him off right now. I get that, though, see? That's what I would want. No. So you do a lot of things, okay? A lot of bad things, but the one thing you wouldn't do is turn your back on your kids. No way. But I can't see that. You don't understand, Dante. If, 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 if the pain is so great, right, and, and it overwhelms you, you think you're doing your kids a favor. Well, that's healthy. But that's what I'm talking about with Olivia, okay? She protected you. She gave you a, a, a great life. My mother tried, but she couldn't do it, okay? Because her nature was too gentle and Deke was too strong and he had too much rage. Boy, he sounds like a real nice guy. To put it mildly, my mother and I were, were very close and uh, Deke taught us a good lesson, though, about bonding. Mutual powerlessness. It's a bad feeling. And you get to the point where you can either be a victim or you can get off that floor and become somebody that people are going to respect and fear. And that's what I did, and I think that's what Luke did. So that answers a question that I've had burning in my head about you since the day I met you. What's that? Why are you so driven? I mean, why is it so important to you to gain and, and keep that power, regardless of, of the damage it causes to you and those around you? Because I said to myself that, you know, after Deke died, I was never going to be that powerless little boy locked in a closet. I was never going to go back to that gutter. Well, that explains you, but what are, uh, that's not Luke. What do you mean it's not Luke? I mean, he, he got out of the gutter, made some money, right? He found a rich woman who didn't try to clip his wings. Life was on track until he gets in a car and he hits a four-year-old little boy who happens to be his son's kid. That's it, man. Game over. So he had to go to a place that defines him. Makes a lot of sense to me. i a beer, please, sir. And uh, who would want to talk to about getting some companionship around here? Welcome. I'm Lupe. Oh, hey, Lupe. Nice to meet you. I haven't seen you here before. I remember the pretty ones, my weakness. <laughs> Thank you. I'm flattered. Uh, yeah, well, I'm uh, new to town. I'm just getting the lay of the land, as it were. And uh, someone told me this place couldn't be missed. We offer entertainment for just about every taste. Why don't you tell me exactly what you were looking for? What's your name? Dante. Do you see anything you like, Dante? Uh, yep, I'm looking at her. I'm looking right back. Perhaps we can come to terms. Uh, I'd like that. I, I'm curious about something. How is it that a nice girl like me ended up in a place like this? Yeah, you must get asked that question a lot, huh? All the time. Huh. I actually like to hear that story later. But for now, uh, I'm looking for a friend of mine. He frequents this place. He's actually how I found out about it. He might have pissed some people off. And they might be coming looking for him. Have you seen anyone unusual, strangers, here lately? If you're not interested in negotiating my terms, I'll move on to someone who is. Time is money. Oh, no, 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 I'm willing to pay whatever you want. Then let's go. My room is upstairs. <laughs>